Just weeks after China flaunted its new warplanes during the September 3rd, 2025 military parade. In March 2025, the world heard a declaration that shook the skies. The 47th President of the United States unveiled the world's first sixth-generation fighter, the F-47 NGAD, the next-generation air dominance. This was not just another headline. It was a direct challenge to every adversary. China, Russia, and the entire world understood instantly. A new era of air power had begun. the depths of the night, a shape unlike anything ever seen emerges, gliding silently, almost invisible to radar, a phantom of modern war, born to alter the balance of power. The F-47 is more than a fighter jet. It is America's message to the world. In the 21st century, the skies still belong to us. In this film, we will uncover why the F-47 is not merely a weapon, but a political statement. Why America needs it, and why its terrifying power could redefine the very face of war. To understand why America needs the F-47, we must look back at more than a century of air combat. From the very first generation to today. The first generation, 1910s through World War I. Wooden frames, fabric wings, crude machine guns. Sopwith camels of Britain, Fokker triplanes of Germany. Airplanes had just become weapons, yet they transformed war forever. The second generation, the late 1930s to World War II. All metal fighters, powerful piston engines, lightning speed. The P-51 Mustang, the Spitfire, the Zero. The skies themselves became the battlefield that decided the fate of armies below. The third generation, the 1950s, the Cold War. Jets replaced propellers. America's F-86 Sabre locked horns with Soviet MiG-15s over Korea. This was the age of speed. The sound barrier shattered. Fighters climbed higher than ever before. The fourth generation, 1970s through the 1990s. The golden age of multi-role fighters. F-14 Tomcat, F-15 Eagle, F-16 Fighting Falcon, the Soviet Su-27 Flanker, long-range radars, precision missiles, extreme maneuverability. Many still fly today. The fifth generation, the late 1990s to the present. A revolution. America revealed the F-22 Raptor, the first stealth fighter in history. First flight 1997, service entry 2005. Then came the F-35 Lightning II, a multi-role stealth jet wired into the digital battlefield. China countered with the J-20, Russia with the Su-57, the race was no longer about flying faster, but about staying invisible longer. Then came the 2020s. Chaos. Hypersonic missiles breaking through defenses. New radars piercing. 
In September, at the Air, Space and Cyber Conference, General David Alvin confirmed Boeing has begun building the first prototype. The historic maiden flight set for 2028. But what makes the F-47 so different? Its very shape. A tailless design erasing radar reflections. Some renderings show canard four planes sparking debate. Are they real or a clever ruse to mislead Chinese intelligence? Leaked specs, a combat radius beyond 1,000 nautical miles, over 1,800 kilometers, at least 25% farther than the F-22 or F-35, capable of speeds beyond Mach 2, super cruise, supersonic flight without afterburners. It flies farther faster and unseen. But its hidden technologies are the most terrifying. Broadband stealth, not just radar, but heat, radio waves, even satellite detection. The path to spectral dominance, control of the entire electromagnetic spectrum, where the one who disappears commands the skies. Inside its weapons bay, hypersonic missiles, electronic warfare, and most of all, the power to lead drone swarms. Collaborative combat aircraft. Fury from Andoril. The YFQ-42A from General Atomics. One F-47 commanding dozens of drones, shields or spears, turning enemy skies into chaos and more. Reports suggest quantum computing, advanced AI, processing massive streams of sensor data in real time, faster than any human, predicting, anticipating, guiding, a second pilot in the cockpit. The F-22 was unmatched, but ended at 187 jets. The F-35 versatile, but never absolute. The F-47 fills the gap. A near invisible design. A quantum brain. A flying carrier of drones. In the 21st century, the F-47 is not just a fighter. It is a technological declaration. An America's shield to hold the skies no matter who dares rise against it. In the 21st century, airspace is not just the sky. It is the battlefield that decides the strength of superpowers. And the F-47 is America's answer. But it does not fly alone. Rivals are already unveiling their aces. In the east, China, the J-20, a massive fifth-generation stealth fighter, long-range hunter, AESA radar, PL-15 missiles reaching hundreds of kilometers. Then the J-35, carrier-based, launched from the Fujian. And in the shadows, the J-36, the J-50, triple engine, tailless designs, ambitions of the sixth generation. But compared to the F-47, they remain rumors and prototypes. To the north, Russia, the Su-57, agile, heavily armed, the pride of Moscow. But plagued by production delays, limited numbers, stealth far behind the West, promises of the Su-75 checkmate, a low-cost stealth jet, yet not one has taken flight. And India, a rising power, developing the AMCA, advanced medium combat aircraft, ambitions to field its own stealth fighter, but still a paper project, its first flight years away. Meanwhile, the F-47 is already real. Not a sketch, not a mock-up. Boeing is building the first, a combat radius beyond 1,000 nautical miles, outranging J-20 and Su-57s, speed over Mach 2, while AMCA has no engine ready. And above all, the F-47 is not just a fighter, 
It is the core of NGAD. Artificial intelligence, drone swarms, hypersonic weapons, electronic warfare, one system fused as one. China, Russia, India, each with their card. But America does not play to be equal. The F-47 was born to prove one thing. The United States stands on a higher peak, where the skies are not just controlled, they are owned. The F-47 did not appear overnight. It is the result of over a decade of silent research, thousands of hours of secret test flights. In 2019, the X-Planes, flying in the Nevada night, testing stealth, engines, weapons, ghosts in the desert sky. General David Alvin confirmed, Boeing has begun the first prototype. His words, we must move fast. Our adversaries are not slowing down and neither can we. But behind the pride lies controversy. Each F-47 over $300 million, three times the F-35, 185 jets planned, $55 billion before drones, before hypersonics, before the infrastructure. Lawmakers ask, do we truly need a sixth generation fighter when the F-35 is still unfinished? Supporters call it essential, the shield against China and Russia. Critics warn, it may be another black hole. History speaks. The F-35. $1.7 trillion, the costliest program ever. The Zumwalt destroyers, promised as the future, only three built, seven billion each. Analysts warn, this is not just military, it is an arms race. If America fields the F-47, China and Russia will follow. A spiral of hundreds of billions to stay even. Opponents call it an unlimited war of budgets. Supporters reply, the price of deterrence is still cheaper than the price of losing the skies. And then, the doubts. Are the renderings real or deception? Can it super cruise for hours or is that illusion? Can AI truly aid a pilot without risking disaster? If the debut fails, America's image of dominance may collapse. The F-22 was unmatched, but killed by cost. The F-35 delayed for years, riddled with flaws. Will the F-47 walk the same path, or rise as the leap of a century? One truth remains, the F-47 is more than a jet. It is political. It is America's declaration, no matter the cost, the skies will never belong to anyone else. Japan, Australia, NATO allies. They hoped the F-47 would be exported, like the F-35, a share of sixth generation power to balance China and Russia. But the answer is clear. The F-47 is classified. No exports, not for years to come. America's allies are left admiring, yet uneasy. Admiring because they are shielded by the most advanced technology on Earth. Uneasy because the gap only widens, binding them closer to Washington. Inside NATO, warnings grow. If America keeps the F-47, Europe must build its own. The FCAS of Germany, France, Spain. The Tempest of Britain, Italy, Japan. The race is no longer just America versus China and Russia, but within the alliance itself. For Japan, for Australia, on the Pacific front line against China, the F-47 is hope.
and a reminder. Their balance of power depends on Washington. The F-35 was international. The F-47 is not. It is not for friends. It was built for America alone to keep absolute superiority. The sky is not just where planes take flight. It is the battlefield of politics, diplomacy, power. From Washington's view, the F-47 is essential. In the Pacific, where China pushes in the South China Sea, Taiwan, the island chains, the F-47 is the trump card. 1,000 nautical miles from Guam into China and back. With drone swarms at its command, Taiwan's skies become a maze. The F-47 is not just an aircraft. It is deterrence. It is America's message. No matter the cost, we will stay one step ahead. But the question remains, will the F-47 keep peace through strength or ignite the deadliest arms race yet? By 2030, the F-47 will rise but so will the J-35, the J-36, the Su-57. A fragile balance, deciding the fate of nations and the peace of humanity itself. The F-47 may become the shield of peace or the spark of war. And the question for us all is this, are we ready? for the age of invisible phantoms, where the skies belong no longer to mankind, but to technology. What do you think about the F-47? Will it become the shield that preserves peace, or the spark that ignites the next global conflict? Drop your comment below.